So, again, here we are. Um, let me introduce you to uh, jo uh, Joel Verdonk and jo Joris Schaap. Uh, now, uh, have I said uh, right? Yes, you did. That's okay. correct. Thank you. Thank you. They are uh, two of the authors of uh, Tiny Magic, one of the greatest games that uh, were released last year. Oh, thank you. No, because thank you very much. It's, uh, it looks uh, really, really good. I hope one day to get a uh, hold of a copy. <laughs> oh, you can actually order a new version. We have one for sale on offer now. Really? You one for sale here and now? Not here, but we are planning a new batch and you can order yeah. it uh, if you want to. Okay, I will. I will, rest assured. Uh, so tell, uh, tell me, you can, um, I remember um, one year ago in the Barcelona meeting that um, came, uh, it, it, it came uh, Kundals came with a future disc and inside there was a demo of Tiny Magic. Yes. And uh, I was blasted. <laughs> Please. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it because it was not that easy to make it, but uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, tell me, it's an MSX2 game Yeah. Uh, with um, uh, Screen 7, it was? No, it's Screen 5. It's screen 5. Yeah. But uh, with a palette of colors really, really different of the usual thing. Yes, indeed, yeah. Uh, so, uh, who, who, who has made what? Uh, Jor Jorith is clear, the music. Music and sound effects and I helped Joel, Joel a lot with giving feedback and pointers and getting the game produced. <laughs> okay. All the rest is all Joel. Joel? Jo uh, yes, but he, he managed a lot, to be honest. And Even managing me, it's a, <laughs> believe me, it's a... You need a manager. <laughs> yeah, I need a manager. He's a big manager, so... And uh, you made the graphics and, and the coding? Uh, almost all the graphics, yes. Almost all the graphics. And also all the levels. All the, but all the levels, yes. all the levels for sure, yeah, okay. as well as the <coughs> as the development, yeah. Okay, and then um, how's going with the game? Uh, how are the reactions? Uh, have you been approached uh, telling the game was, uh, was a blast? The game was a crap? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it was almost positive, but uh, we had to improve a lot of things in order to push it a little bit uh, uh, because so because of the difficulty of the levels mm -hmm. that one thing there were some bugs to 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 cover and we and that's why we we have just made that patch right now in order to uh, to facilitate a little bit the the the, the experience uh, because some players were complaining about the fact that the, the undo level is not like what we have right now in, uh, in yeah. modern games that that's uh, in order to make it casual game, mm -hmm. so uh, so I made my possible because uh, <laughs> the MS6 is still uh, an A bit with uh, with some limitation in terms of memory. But uh, at least I think we we are covering all the the all the the, the, the requests we we get from from the from the late, late, latest um, uh, feedback we received. Mm -hmm. That's that's nice. Uh, but so this is the reason you are here ha having a uh, table. Yeah. You, you are uh, replay, uh, making modifications. Uh, you had to, to tinker with the hardware. I, uh, it looks uh, that because uh, you are not having the jumpers or something. You have to. Yeah, in this uh, version of the cartridge that we released on Go240, uh -huh. uh, we actually have to do some soldering on the board to mm -hmm. update to the new version of the game. Okay. So that's yeah. why we have uh, offered this modification to people who already had the game, so they don't have to do it themselves. Okay. Yeah. I see. Um, but still, uh, you are releasing any instructions so the people can do it by themselves? Yes. Everyone who already bought the game, they already uh -huh. received instructions on how to do it themselves. And also, they received a new version of the game on a ROM, mm -hmm. but also on a disk. So if people want it, they can also install it on their hard drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, uh, so uh, how went in God of at God of Forty? Because uh, I wanted to talk to you about God of Forty, and uh, which was your reaction? How uh, did you? I, I, I get. Uh, I suppose that you enjoy it. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Very we good were, experience. Yeah. We were also a bit sad because we. 
wanted to have more copies brought to go to 40 to sell them, but unfortunately we couldn't produce them fast enough. Mm. But we, yeah, the reception overall was very positive and also for us to be on an event like that, see people, have a look at the game, be able to give them the game and see their responses was very good. Mm -hmm. And about, about the event itself, uh, how do you felt about it, uh, I mean? I think probably like everyone else, uh, like very motivated, very inspired, uh, but it also was very busy. A lot of things uh, going on, so uh, lots of good things, very positive. You know, I, I've, um, I was invited on other events for other machines, such as Commodores and uh, Atari and so on. And I was really surprised because even those big events with, with a larger community than a bigger community than the MSX1 doesn't have this kind of events, to be honest, excepting uh, in the US Amiga. or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Amiga. It's, uh, it's, the Amiga is quite an event. It's quite like like this, like this one. Mm. And uh, I really have appreciated the passion in the eyes of uh, of the, the people there. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it was quite professional uh, mm. also uh, the, the what's from, from an organization po point of view everything was really uh, top really top okay okay and now uh, you were talking about inspiration after doing uh, after doing this patch do you have any pro uh, do you have any project coming in mind or starting something i wonder well, the listeners wonder to yeah, well, at this point, I think we're now very much happy that this patch has been released. Uh -huh. I think we both also I need a bit of a break, maybe for yeah. a, for a, sh for uh, sure. for a short while. <laughs> and then we'll I already have inspiration to get going again with something new, but it's also up to Joel if he has time and if we have some good ideas. I'm happy to work with Joel again because I think we'll make a good team. Actually, one of the, the maybe it's not related to the MSX. Uh, actually, the Amiga um, community is requesting actually a port of the game. Okay. So, so <laughs> I, I don't know. With somebody else. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if I will do it fully or not. If no, current, no, no, <laughs> I have already no, begun, no, but uh, <laughs> but uh, we will see. So, but indeed. I'm more in favor currently to uh, to go to support another project, a, a project of somebody, uh -huh. in order to uh, to help uh, people on the graphics or or, or development, because uh, that's what something really. That's why I need actually a manager. But it is, it is <laughs> Some guy. Don't allow him to because do it. It's, it's really demanding to support something end to end. You see what I mean? Till the end. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, and that's something I, I would rather go for a bigger uh, project but with more people mm -hmm. no, not to not having everything on your shoulder you see what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and counting with the remainder of the Abyss team I don't know Oof. Dandan, uh, Olivier <laughs> yeah that's really complicated <laughs> It's a good opportunity to go back to Florida. Or yeah. <laughs> he is living there. I have Patrice uh, also, who is interested in the Amiga version as well. I have um, but the others. Uh, well, uh, they are not really. I, I still want. I have somebody uh, in France. Maybe there will be an event at Paris mm -hmm. sites um, in June or July. I don't know. Uh, to be discussed, to be defined, and um, th th there will be certainly two members of ABIS there. Mm -hmm. uh, the French uh, guys of uh, ABIS will be there, so we can discuss, but actually uh, they are not really active in the, on the yeah. scene uh, currently. No. And you, Joris, uh, you are also, well, you are a musician. Uh, yeah. uh, have you been asked for any project or something that you can talk? Casually, there are some ideas for some uh, projects, but I'm not sure if I can talk about them yet. They're still quite early stage. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going... <laughs> I see what you were doing. <laughs> I saw. Now, now that he's not here, <laughs> yeah. you can tell. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I hope to, to hear more about you. Yeah. Music and your voice as well. 
And you, uh, well, you both uh, are invited to Barcelona uh, in, the, in the case you are going. I'm tempted. <laughs> it is quite nice. I was there. Uh, uh, in the temptation, times. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really tempted. You know, I, I'm, I'm living nearby an airport, and in, there are a lot of uh, flights towards uh, Barcelona, so oh, yeah. and cheap. <laughs> but uh, your airport, that airport, you, you know it well because you are coming here by <laughs> that airport, and uh, so mm -hmm. why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Then, uh, thank you for your time. I hope uh, I can catch you with something new anytime, anytime soon. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.